What we're going to do is put a transvenous pacemaker in, this gentleman. Uh, and he's got symptomatic radicardia. And we're going to try and do is go through the right internal juggler on him. We've already scouted the vein out, and it looks good. So we should be able to slip it in there with no problem. So the first thing we need to do is get the pacer box itself set up. And the way we're going to do that is Kate's got the box there. And what she's going to do is she's going to take the cables to it. First, she has to turn it on. It's on. Okay. Do you want to show them how you turned it on? On button. Okay. Now, take the cables. We're going to just put a venous uh, pacer in them. So the cables have a connector on the end of it. There's a top that's labeled A and a top that's labeled B. It's going to go into the V slot. Okay. And then what you're going to do is the rest of that you're going to pass to me when we're ready to go. If you turn the, we don't need that. If you turn the box around, you're going to put the ventricular rate up to 80, which is fine for him because his heart rate's 40, so we'll be able to see when we get captured. And you're going to take the milliamps and turn that all the way up. The output's going to go all the way up as well. Now, if the thing locks, you have to it unlock is locked. it. Okay, push the green button on the front. The on button? The green, oh, I'm sorry. green lock button. The lock the button up top. Push that. And what do you want? You want the rate at 80 and the output to be... The ventricular output? The ventricular output to be as high as it'll go. Arterial output? No, not arterial. No, what do you want arterial set at? Zero. Zero. Because we're not going to use that one. Okay. 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 Correct. Okay. So now we're set to go. Now we have to put his line in. So the first thing we're going to do is put his line in. The pacer kit comes in this blue container. It's a small blue container. It'll say transient pacer. And everything you need is in here aside from what um, we just showed you with the paint pad. The pacer wire is in a separate container. And the rest of this kit is an introducer for how to get the capacitor in. We need an IV set up to be able to flush into this. And this is the same as putting any CBP in. You've seen us do it a, a lot of times, so. Yeah, push this up a little bit. And we're using the ultrasound over here to see what we're looking at. Now we've got a catheter in the secure vena cava and the pigtail going there. So at this point now we can open the, the pacer up. The pacer itself, we've got a balloon on the end of it. And what we're going to do is introduce this into the catheter and we're going to float this directly into the, the heart. So what we're going to do is the following. There's a little syringe here. You pull this out, it'll only stop at a one and a half cc's. If I put this on here, and I've got a balloon on the end of that, you can see when I put it in, the balloon will blow up, okay? So again, see the balloon blow up. What I'll tell is my assistant, I'm gonna say, balloon up, they'll blow the balloon up. I say balloon down, they let the balloon down. On the back end of this are two electrodes, connectors, that they're gonna to connect to the pacemaker. Depending on the type of pacemaker box you have, 
You may need a female end or a male end. Ours, we need to convert these from a female to a male end, and that's just done by putting these yellow things in here, okay? Now, let me give this to you now. There are two things. One is negative is distal, and the other is positive. So you got a, a negative distal one and a positive one. The positive goes to the proximal, negative to distal. So this is positive, it goes in here. And this is the distal one, which is negative, and it goes in the negative terminal, okay? When I'm pushing into has, got it? It's marked positive and negative on it, okay? There's a sleeve that goes over this that makes it easier for you to adjust it if you have to adjust it later on, okay? All right, you ready? All right, what you do is it, this is adjustable here on the tip of the introducer. I can loosen this or tighten it as much as I want. So we're going to loosen it just about all the way. Now, you have to pass this in through this until it gets to the 2 centimeter mark, or 20 centimeter mark, and then you know you can blow the balloon up, okay? Balloon's down. Go ahead, put it in. Okay, is the pacer on? Yes. Okay, what do we at? Okay, now we're going to tell you to blow it up. Yeah. Balloon up. Okay, now push. Okay, stop. So you want the balloon down. Pull it all the way down. Okay. Yeah. Alright, now, what do we have? Look for the ring. Alright, so now you can see on the monitor we're getting capture at 79, the pace are set at 80, so we know we're we're doing what we want to do. Okay, now take the pacer box. Unlock it. You can set that down, Pete. All right, unlock the paper box. Now take your milliamps, mm -hmm. that, and start turning it down. Turn it down to 10. Ten. All right, show them what you're doing. Uh, take it down to five. And you can see we still have capture at five. Take it down to two and a half. All right, still have capture two and a half. Take it down to one. One. Take it down to a half. All right, can you take it down any lower? I don't think you can take it any lower. Point three. Point three. Point two. All right, you lost it. Take it back up. Point three. All right, you got capture point three. Now what you want to do is double it at least or triple it. So I would take it up to one milliamp and just leave it there. All right. Okay. One. Now, okay, lock it. So nobody can mess with it. Lock. Now this, okay. you want to anchor this by tightening this screw here so that that can't come out. And then this, you can stretch all the way along here to keep this sterile. And then if we have to adjust it at some point later on, if we get the x-ray and we don't like the way it looks, or we want to adjust it, we can do that without having to take and move the, um, uh, have to mess with the sterile wire. And that locks at this end. So now what we'll do is we'll um, take and we'll so suture this in place. Once it's in place, we'll coil this and coil this, so that if somebody hits it, it'll just pull the coil off, it won't pull the catheter out, the pacer out. And now he's got a heart rate of 80. Thank you very much, guys. Tabitha, thank you very much for your cinematography, but the Oscars were last night, unfortunately. <laughs>